Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to play Minecraft with the Nintendo Wii Classic Controller. This is very simple and easy to do as long as you have the correct hardware and software. First of all you will need to buy a Bluetooth dongle if yours is not compatible with the Wii Remote. For a full list of all the compatible ones go to weebrew.org there will be a link in the description. Also, what you will need to download is GlovePie, which is a piece of software. The link will also be in the description. Once you've downloaded or bought the, both pieces of hardware and software, you'll need to go to Bluetooth devices and add a device. Then you'll need to repeatedly click the 1 and 2 button on your Wii remote. Now you can hear that sound because I've already connected it and it's already discovered it. So it, as soon as it's picked it up you click click on it, click next and then when it says pair, click pair without code and click next and then it will do it will try and install drivers for it but after a while it will do fine. And then show Bluetooth devices and it will be there. It won't be called that, it will become called something like Nintendo something or other. But then what you need to do is then open GlovePy and open Minecraft. You will then need to, as long as the Wii Remote is then paired with the thing, if you click Run and go on Minecraft, back to game, you should be able to play with your classic controller, which I'm doing now. Jump, crouch, inventory, dig, place block, uh, move across hotbar, that sort of thing, and options. Oh, yeah, that works. Okay. And then, yep, so that's how that is. But then, scape. And the code, which is in here, you will need to copy and paste from the description. It should do it straight away. If it doesn't, you need to pair up your Wii Remote until it's got the Player 1, but nothing else lit up. You may get Player 1 and 4, but it's rare. This has been a video tutorial by JJ, the mining guy. Thank you for watching.